Mabuhay, Philippines! Good morning, everyone! We hope you're all at home safe with your families. And talking about safety, we're gonna share with you today some, some tips, tips on how to make your own disinfectant at home, especially now that there's a shortage of alcohol, hand sanitizers, hand sanitizers, alcohol, and even disinfectant sprays. Uh, because of what we're experiencing right now wherein in fact you might even have them already at home in your kitchen in your bathroom in your laundry there are some uh, some things like your bleach or hydrogen peroxide that you can use as a disinfectant for your kitchen for your or even for your homes so let's start the video our Mirko and Tarek, an Italian and Filipino couple who loves to travel and explore. Welcome to our channel. I sat down by the ocean, it's that tears that I feel, fill up with emotions, could I taste them for real? First, we need to understand the difference of sanitizing and disinfecting. When you say sanitizing, you are just reducing the microbes in a surface. While disinfecting is killing the microbes, um, depending on what is claimed by your product. For example, for this one, okay, this is a this is a bleach, no? Um, they're claiming that it reduces the spread of germs in your home and laundry by killing. 99.9% .9 of common viruses, bacteria, and fungi, viruses such as the human coronavirus, SARS, rhinovirus, which causes common colds, influenza A, uh, such as H1N1, flu virus, bird flu, and swine flu, rotavirus A, which causes severe diarrhea, respiratory syncytial virus, adenovirus, hepatitis A, and norovirus. It also kills bacteria and fungi, such as your E. coli, salmonella, staphylococcus aureus, staphylococcus erpid, or epidermid, epidermidis, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Aspergillus niger, and Candida albicans or your yeast. So, in any case, whether you are sanitizing or disinfecting, you have to clean first the area using soap and water. For CDC, they even recommend uh, hot water. But here, especially in the Philippines, not everyone has hot water. So, okay lang po, basta water and soap, you clean first the surface. Likewise, even even with our own hands, no? Importante muna po, proper hand washing, and then you can put on your hand sanitizer or your alcohol. So, it is, it is important that you clean first the surface before disinfecting. So, here's what we're gonna need for our disinfectant bleach solution. One liter of water. You can recycle your plastic water bottles as container for the bleach solution. We also need spoon for measuring and our bleach, all right? So for this product, it only requires three tablespoons per liter of water. So remember, put the bleach to the water and not the other way around. And do not combine other chemicals with this solution. So be careful when uh, combining your bleach and water. Since this is a chemical, that's one tablespoon. Two tablespoon, three tablespoons. Cover your bleach and also your bleach solution and make sure to label it properly. So where's our mask? So I will put the label here, bleach solution and the date uh, when it was made. So March 21st. Be careful to store this in areas where the children cannot reach them and make sure that uh, it's always properly labeled. If the masking tape is about to be uh, uh, worn off, please replace it right away so that it will not be mixed with your other uh, solutions or with your other products. And um, when you use this, so clean first the area and then you use a cloth to wipe it on the surface of your tables of your countertops so this is an alternative for example if for example your disinfectant spray if you're running out of this and you can't go out and you have this extra stuff in your household 
then it's a it's a big help and it's also effective since they all they, they kill most of the germs and bacteria anyway so we hope this helps and happy cleaning at home and happy disinfecting so we now have our bleach solution and you can now transfer them to your spray bottles and we advise you after uh, using your bleach solution please store them inside your cabinets you don't want them for example you're using this uh, plastic bottle so you don't want them exposed in sunlight so you better hide them in your cabinets uh, because it will decompose the, the, the yes. chemical ingredients and also aside from you know from preventing your children uh, to drink yeah god forbid and um you have to use this uh best within 24 hours after preparation uh so that the so that the ingredients good morning so you it is best to use within 24 hours after preparation um so that the ingredients are still active Yes. and not decomposed and there uh, is a easy uh, way it's really easy to make it it's also cheap but it's very it, practical yes and it's uh, the only really one effective uh, way of uh, disinfecting stuff there are online uh, some other uh, that yeah, are mixing now, solution but yeah you can we find really don't suggest, online right? that there's yeah. like um brands that you've never heard before yeah and they're coming up with products or diy products but mm, the best things to do is always buy products uh, with uh, with brand uh, that uh, yeah because there are, are in, there are ingredients in active ingredients in commercial brands that cannot be present in diy in yeah. diy um sanitizers or other you know products there but the sodium hypochlorite is very simple it's it's very basic and even when i used to work in the laboratory yeah. oh, this is also what we use yes. uh, when doing our labs uh, or another thing uh, can be also the uh, hydrogen prox peroxide hydrogen right? peroxide um, no. but you have to be very careful also with hydrogen peroxide yeah. because it's also very sensitive to light um we we use this for um for 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 example for the for the tools in the in the clinic or in the OR. So yeah, it's major heavy, right? It's a bit uh, more heavy. A plus, um, you you can spray them, but it will corrode surfaces. Yeah. Um, certain types of uh, of surfaces. Do not use hydrogen peroxide on stones like marble or granite, because it will etch the surface over time. So the most effective and the most practical household uh, disinfectant that you can use is your is your bleach. Yes. So, um, what else? So today is uh, our uh, day seven of uh, quarantine. One here. week. Yes, our first week uh, of uh, quarantine, and um, well, the news uh, still uh, really not good because uh, Italy is really reaching. Uh, really scary numbers uh, just uh, in the previous uh, 24 hour are dead more than 600 people it's really bad situation so we really need to be uh, careful and take precaution uh, and don't and stay at home really always stay at home we are uh, keep saying it uh, now for a week and also in stay the Philippines uh, how is the situation in the to, Philippines? Uh, yesterday 230 cases na po. Yeah. Ang ating, uh, three are here in Batangas also, right? We have three, yeah. And uh, in, in 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 the city. Yeah. In the city. So we really need to be careful, uh, disinfect everything. For that today we we did this video, so we hope uh, that uh, uh, you can take. Yes, uh, because that's the that's the only way you can protect yourself is to yeah. clean your home, disinfect at home, uh, because uh, in the, in we we cannot risk our family's lives yeah and also wash your hands always uh, wash, for uh, at least uh, 30 seconds with uh, proper soap alcohol use always alcohol if you have a spray we luckily we found this uh, before uh, that the lockdown and everything was happening so we bought one will not be forever but at least one we have so laban lang po tayo. we we are at war with the coronavirus and we have to be prepared and we have to protect our family so let's uh let's do this together all right so keep safe 
I will see you again tomorrow and don't forget to pray. Yes. And stay at home. Oh. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye. Our Mirko and Tere, an Italian and Filipino couple who loves to travel and explore. Welcome to our chat. I sat down by the ocean. It's that tears that I feel.